Welcome to the Tips for Manufacturing video training for Mastercam X8. The first thing we'd like to do with this lesson is to start getting you comfortable with the Mastercam environment. And to do that, we're going to explain the different areas of the Mastercam interface. And we're going to start with the top bar, which is the menu bar. And this is really just like any other Windows-based application. If you click on File, you'll get a pull-down menu where you have things like New, Open, Save. Very typical type of a menu. The next area we have is the toolbar icons. Of course, these icons have different functions that you would perform in Mastercam. So here I have create a point at a position, create a line from an endpoint, create a circle from a center point. So you can see whenever you point at these, there's also a little tag that comes up telling you what that function is for. The next area is the auto cursor. Now in the auto cursor area, basically as you move your cursor around the screen, this works like a digital readout showing you your current position. Now if we were constructing a line or an arc or a point, we can also key in specific XY coordinates in this area. Next we have the general selection ribbon bar. And with general selection, it allows you to select things. So here's standard selection. Here's selecting from a solid model where we can select an edge, a face, or the complete solid body. It's also where we can end our selections or unselect everything. This area is referred to as the function ribbon bar. Most people simply call it the ribbon bar. Now the function of this area changes depending on what you're doing. So if I was creating a line, it brings up an area where I can key in information about the length of the line or the angle of the line or if it's vertical or if it's horizontal and of course keying in those specific values. Now if I wanted to break away from this line command I can simply hit escape on my keyboard. Anytime you hit escape it breaks you out of the current command. And I want to show you now that if I go to create circle center point now you'll see in the ribbon bar area we get a different set of prompt choices where we can input a radius or input a diameter. So whatever information pertains to the item or function you've selected will show up in this area here. I want to show you another thing which is the prompt area. Now the prompt will prompt you for input depending on what you're doing. In this case it's saying enter the center point because we have selected circle with center point. If you right click your mouse over top of this prompt area it gives you a choice where you can change this prompt from a small font to a medium font to a large font. Mine is currently set to large and again to break out of that command I can hit escape. The next area I want to talk about is this right here which is referred to as the graphics area. It's where you will draw your geometry and visualize your toolpaths. In the graphics area you can always tell which axes you're dealing with by looking at the gnomon here in the lower left corner of the graphics window. In the right side of the graphics window we have a scale reference. So the view that we're looking at is approximately 1.335 to whatever this distance is right here. It's a quick visual scale reference. 